Hello and welcome to the July energy reading for the second half of the month. Uh, I had shot a video earlier uh, at the beginning of the month and now this is the midway energy update. And so that's what we're going to get into today on, um, on this video. I will also be posting this to my Love My Life podcast as well for those of you who like to listen and don't have the time to actually sit and watch but you can listen to the update while you're driving or whatever it is you might be doing and that you like to um, actually, you know, get in your um, expansion and growth, personal development during those times. That's what I like to do. I'm, I always have like an audible book or somebody's podcast that I'm listening to so I can like, you know, continually be growing myself by hearing what other people share about this world of awakening, ascension, expansion, um, and all that good stuff. So let's see, we're gonna see what the cards wanna tell us. I know for me, um, what I've been picking up on, a well actually, yesterday, <laughs> uh, maybe it's because of this um, new moon that's coming in, to do with these solar eclipses or what, um, yesterday, July 13th, I was just like knocked out. I mean, I, I had no energy at all. I was totally, I couldn't function. <laughs> and I knew it was an energetic thing, you know, because you have those days right, when, we, when we're on this awakening journey where you have your highs and then you have any lows and you know, you're just processing, letting things go. Uh, we don't always like it, but when you start to understand the, the energy and you can feel and sense energy, and you could even, um, well, I guess because I work with a lot of people with these kind of things, I see what they're going through as well. And so it just gives more evidence to um, what a lot of people are talking about out there with the ascension symptoms and with, and I know nothing about astrology, but I'll listen to other people who will speak about what's going on with, you know, astrologically <laughs> and how it's affecting us. So anyway, there is this new portal thing going on and the energy is shifting and it got me good time. I mean, I actually, cause I'm a doer. I don't like to like not do, I really couldn't make myself. I wanted to shoot a video yesterday. I just couldn't do it. So I honored that and I let myself just be and I just did things that I just chill. I basically had a real chill kind of a day. And it wasn't until like towards the evening that I actually started to feel myself come come back onto a onto a higher energy. Um, and so today I feel pretty good. <laughs> uh, it always helps when I see clients as well too, because no matter what, when I'm connecting with clients and I'm just being that channel for the light that wants to come through for that person's healing, wow, there's nothing like it. I would love to do that like nonstop mostly non-stop. So anyway, getting to the energy portal, uh, portal <laughs> energy update. I guess I'm still a little loopy from, from whatever's happening energetically, but we're going to pick some cards and we're going to see what they tell us, right? So let's just go with it. Um, first card. Oh, how nice. I love it. Cornucopia. Can you see that beyond the light of my, uh, yeah, there you go. Cornucopia. That's number 11. I mean, that's a very abundant card. Uh, you know, when the ones are showing up, it's talking about things manifesting, right? So you want to be aware of what thoughts and what energy you're putting out there because it's manifesting. And with all these energy changes going on in the planet, we're getting into a space where we're manifesting quicker. So you really don't want to get stuck in those low energies for too long. You want to find ways to bring your vibration up and out so that you can focus on where it is you actually want to go and not get stuck in stuff that brings you away from where you want to go. So cornucopia, I think I just want to read it from the deck, but it's all about abundance and, um, and it came in the upright position. So let's just see what it says. So it says, an abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you, and you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. 
When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. And spirit is applauding you in all your effort. And, you know, that's another uh, message too. this thing about having planted the seeds already and all the work that you've done is about to pay off. That message keeps coming up a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot. And sometimes we can get frustrated. We're like, yeah, but I keep hearing that same message, but I don't see the evidence in my reality yet. Um, and so there again, you kind of want to, you want to get into that space of just a, allowing it like, okay, look, I'm getting all these good messages. I know this whole awakening is happening on the planet. What if I were just to go with it and allow it to happen without trying to control it, manipulate it, or think I know the best way that it unfolds. And that's tricky because I know I've got some things going on and, and I keep getting all this great news about and and picking up on how things are right there you know it's i think i did a video on that a while ago too about um how you know when you're about to manifest something and when your manifestation's about to happen because you really feel like giving up <laughs> like you're right there you you're 3 feet from gold you know but you but you're like i had enough and you might give up on it but you, you just want to hold the focus of it and just allow divine timing be like all right universe spirit uh, you know, I give, you know, I did all the work. And now when you say it's ready, when it's time, I know, I trust it's going to show up. So this is something that's been coming up for me a lot. And I know it's for me to learn so that I can find ways to get that message across even easier. Um, so when I figured that out, I'll let you know. <laughs> but for right now, there's another card just telling us that, you know, You've done all the work now. You've done all the all the work that you could do in the physical form. Now you just got to let spirit take over. It's all there. It's all ready to go. Just let it happen, you know? Uh, Abraham Hicks, just let go of the oars. Let yourself go with the flow. Let let the current take you downstream. You now why are we fighting a battle to keep trying to make it be a certain way, right? Going backwards. So, okay, let's go to another deck here. I've got Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And let's see what we get from this one. This, oh, oh, I love it. The Spirit Whisperer. It says, Divine Guidance, Higher Knowing. Upright position number three. Okay, so let's check that out. I don't think I need glasses for this one. The Spirit Whisperer. Higher knowing. As an ally, the spirit, whisperer, the spirit whisperer comes to you heralding the miraculous and the inspired. She whispers guidance from the divine through your higher senses so that you can hear the wisdom and know her love for you. She's committed to helping you to intuit the next right actions and steers you away from trouble. So that's really being in that space like, all right, spirit. Whatever's going to be will be. Guide me. Like when you when you trust and you're very open and you're not trying to be in your head about what next action to take, because that usually is a forced energy and you allow it to just drop in. That's what this card is talking about. It's just going to drop in. You're going to hear that right thing that takes you, boom, exactly like two feet over and you hit gold, right? So let's see. Um, da, da, da. The Spirit Whisperer keeps you inspired to move forward, always knowing just in time the correct next steps. She guides you to fulfill your highest purpose. When she appears, it's a sign of inspired ideas with continual action that lead to success. It's a very good omen. So if your question is about relationships, so, okay, so we're going to go into the relationship area, right? The Spirit Whisperer speaks of soul connections, past lives, and great learning through mutual mirroring. She will whisper how long, how short, how deep, how sweet the relationship can be. There will be soul bargains made, but even before you both were born here and an exploration is in order. So the bargains that your, your soul, so you have this commitment before you even come here, right? 
That's what it's speaking to. And you may move forward, but keep listening to the spirit whisper for the lessons and the vulnerabilities that love brings. So we can, I mean, you can apply that to everything, any kind of relationship, even if it's a relationship with um, your work, right? Um, yeah, I mean, if, if it's, so, so say with the fulfilling your divine purpose, your purpose, what you came here to do, like maybe you, you went off course for a while, or maybe you were doing something else that um, is part of it, but now you need to go, okay, you got that much out of that area of life. Now we're going to take everything we learned there and put it over here. But we're just being open to, because a lot of, uh, and the reason I'm, that that's coming through right now is because a lot of people are like really shifting their lives completely, like doing something totally different than they've ever done before. Even just awakening to the knowing that they are more than this physical body and that they're connected to information beyond what their mind can sort out by itself <laughs> um yeah i don't even know where i'm going with that i'm kind i'm kind of getting high off of these last two cards and uh, i don't know what sonia choquette's gonna tell us but we're gonna look for trust your vibes and we're gonna see how this ties into these other two cards um but again it's it's kind of like just a continuation of what's been going on I don't even remember everything that I said in the beginning of this month, but really I know the message very loudly and clearly has been new beginnings, right? Things shifting, especially if you if it's felt like a struggle for so long, it's like the reward is coming. It's not been for nothing because if you're truly driven to, to have, like you can't, it's like, um, I know with the work I do, the healing work I do, I can never not do it. I don't think I'll, I'll ever be able to just not do it. it, it it's not possible. <laughs> because when I'm in, when I'm doing that work and flowing that energy, it's like the greatest high ever. I can't imagine not helping people to find that for themselves. So a lot of people are waking up to wanting to have that same kind of experience, no matter what, it doesn't have to be healing, but in a, in a way that it really fulfills them, like they feel it in their heart. Yeah, like really leaving whole careers and moving into something else. And that's scary. People are doing it. All right, here we go. What does Sonia say? Feed your spirit. Let's see if we can get a good, there we go. Okay. Feed your spirit. I like the sounds of that. All right, number 47. Feed your spirit. Up, oh, need the glasses for this one. All right, here we go. Just as you must feed your body, you must also feed your spirit. It makes you stronger, energized, and more powerful. Most people are unaware of what feeds their spirit. But even if they know, they neglect to follow through. Now, I could say that, I, that sometimes I'll let myself be too distracted or too busy to just sit and meditate and connect. And when I, if I don't do that for like two or three days, I feel a total difference in everything. And I have to think, why am I feeling like, oh, I haven't meditated. I didn't make that connection. Or I didn't feed my spirit. Um, so it says, but don't be guilty. Don't be guilty of this. Feeding your spirit comes from choosing experiences that empower you and help you to feel more authentic, spontaneous, and joyful and alive. Your spirit's food is personal. Only you know what spirit hungers for. You know, so maybe just dancing and singing and or just for no reason really feeds you and lifts you up. You ever put on or have a song come on out of the blue, like on the radio that brings you back to maybe an earlier time. And then you just start dancing for no reason. They don't care who's looking or watching you singing and dancing because it feels so good. Like you get so uplifted from it or maybe even just walking outside and stopping to not even pay attention to traffic noises, just listening to the birds, the wind, watching the leaves flutter, you know, like feeling the grass under your feet. That feeds your spirit. So many different things can feed your spirit. Just spending time maybe searching things that you want to learn more about. That feeds your spirit. Um, anyway, I'm going off. Let's see what she says. So my spirit, for example, is fed by, and this is Sonia Choquette talking. It's her deck. 
is fed by exercise, dancing, time with my children, good coffee, and walks with my husband. What feeds another may be to run on the beach, cooking, singing, sleeping on a down pillow. Could be anything, right? It's whatever makes you feel, you know, nurtured, but in a deep kind of a sense, no matter how little the thing is that you might be doing, but you just get this feeling that's, and that is because it's food for the soul, like you're feeding your spirit. Okay, so it says, think about your spirit's diet. Think about your spirit's diet. Uh, the more you feed it, the stronger it becomes. And when your spirit is strong, your vibes are loud and clear. Don't be a psychic anorexic. Feed your spirit every day. Every day. I, love I love that. that. Don't, Don't be, be a psychic, psychic anorexic. anorexic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feed your spirit. Uh, you know, we neglect ourselves. We neglect ourselves. I mean, I have a I have a client that I was working with today who is now starting to feed her spirit. Normally, she's working 16-hour days feeding everybody else's spirit but her own, right? You're really depleting yourself. So she's finally coming back to her, doing things like just driving up to a lookout and just letting herself look into the horizon and just be. She actually has the talent of being able to go out energetically as if she's flying out there, right? So in my mind, I'm like, listen, you got to do that every single day. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there you have it. Things, things are shifting, changing, um, abundance is abound, that cornucopia card, right? Um, there's a lot of good things in the works and really feeding your spirit was a perfect way to end or to cap off those first two cards because, um, you know, allowing that inspiration to come in and to direct you and guide you, like really connecting to spirit and allowing that. You are spirit, right? So why do we only want to get sometimes locked down in what's going on here in the physical so-called reality when we can connect to this higher knowing, this higher aspect of ourselves, our higher selves, and allow the inspiration to come in, you know, ask, okay, I don't know. I really don't know where to go with this right now, Spirit. You got to, you know, send me something. Please send me a sign so I know where to go. And the next thing you know, you know, your favorite bird, in the red cardinals, show up. They're showing up everywhere. Like, it's it's like almost, I mean, it's really fun. It's like the universe is just really sending me all these little gifts, telling me to, um, and maybe congratulating me for really getting into that space of just, all right, Spirit, let's do it. You and me, we're team. We're team. We're team. When I start to doubt or when I start to diminish my light and make myself feel maybe not good enough because something didn't turn out the way my mind thought it should be, like that just pulls me away from my spirit. I'm not feeding my spirit when I'm thinking that way, right? So that's a great card, you know, feed your spirit. And then I thought, and I, this might be getting a little bit long, but I, I really feel like we need to pull an animal spirit guide. And uh, from Colette, Aaron, Colette Baron Reed's spirit animals. And uh, let's just see. Let's see what spirit animal can carry us through the end of this month, what the message for us will be. And let's see, we're going to get, oh, Hawk Spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Oh my God, you just cannot make this stuff up. I love these cards. I do a podcast called LOA Today. Um, we do it, I do it Fridays at four. You can even see it streaming on YouTube. And um, for some reason, I pull cards. Like we're having a conversation. I keep pulling cards. And they always speak to whatever we were talking about. Always. It's like spirit is just talking through the cards. You might want to get some decks for yourselves. I mean, it's really fun. And it can help you because that's one way. If you're not sure how to connect or you not don't know that you're hearing or seeing or receiving any signs or messages anywhere, these cards will get you started. Whatever deck is that you're drawn to, um, search Oracle card decks and uh, you'll be amazed. So anyway, Hawk Spirit number 32. Let Spirit be your guide. And I'm reading it right from the book. Right from the book. I already know what it's going to say. So let's just go. All right. So it says, let Spirit be your guide. Uh, flying high above the landscape, the hawk sees both the big picture and the small details. Observers um, observes the rain 
and the pond as well as the clouds and doesn't miss anything. When Hawk Spirit arrives, you're called to pay attention to the messages from Spirit that can appear anywhere in any form. I mean, that's a lot of what we've been talking about in this update. So it says, listen to your intuition. Keep your eyes open for synchronicities, the meaningful coincidences. Hawk Spirit asks you not to dismiss the signs that Spirit is sending to guide you. Lastly, have you been hearing the same word or song or coming across the same symbol here and there and in the strangest of places? Synchronicity, right? Perhaps you hear a song on the radio with just the right lyric pertaining to whatever's been on your mind. Or you begin to notice uncanny billboards, license plates, or other places where repetitive numbers or words show up for you to notice. I got to tell you a story about that. And then it says, pay attention to the animals that appear for you and connect with their symbolism. Spirit wants to communicate and reaches out again and again. When hawk spirit appears, it's a sign to listen. Okay, this is why I was told to, to um, pull another card. Because it's exactly everything we've just been talking about. And you know what's, what, I, what I love about this, just to make the point even more, um, my husband has switched on to everything that I, that I do, and, and he's trained in some of the modalities I work with. Um, and he's, you know, he's really connected, but he doesn't know it for himself so much. But lately, it's like spirit is knocking them over the head. Listen, we're talking to you. Pay attention. What he's noticing is uh, on the cars, license plates that are passing by on the highway, he's seeing four fives, three fives, uh, two, two, six, six, one, two, two, three, you know, like, um, eight, five, five, eight, or, uh, six, six, uh, seven, seven, right. Or consecutive two, three, four, five. I mean, he's been getting like this play on numbers so much. Now I get, I get numbers. I get, I get lots of signs, right? But I don't ever really notice this on the road, but this is how spirit's speaking to him. So pay attention because I'll be driving with him. He goes three, three, eight, eight. And I'm, and I look and there it is. And he's like, oh, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, like, oh my God. You know, like I never noticed this stuff. The, the spirit doesn't talk to me through license plates where he's seeing five, six, ten on any single ride at any time, right? So there's, that's not a coincidence. That spirit saying, listen, we are talking to you. Okay, we're getting through to you now. You get the picture. So he's starting to realize, oh, okay, they are speaking to me. Yeah, they're always speaking to you. So pay attention to the signs. Just know there's abundance everywhere and it's you're stepping into it. You're getting ready to step into that. Follow the guidance that's coming to you. And uh, let's, you know, I mean, hey, let's make it fun. The journey ought to be fun. I have a tattoo on my foot. Enjoy the journey, right? Yeah, let's do that. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this energy update. And I look forward to the next one that I'll send to you. And for now, I guess that's about it. I'll see you next time. Oh, and please do subscribe, like, share, comment. I love to get your comments. And uh, yeah, let me know if this whole reading I just gave to you just now resonates with you. I'm telling you, these cards don't lie. I could have picked any cards in the deck, right? But those all really worked together. I wasn't even going to do the last fourth card, but I heard, no, pick the card, pick the Pick a spirit animal. Okay. Pick a spirit animal. Perfect card. So that's it. I will see you next time. Bye.